But go ahead and talk and people can be, uh, you know, get ready. We're also going to record this piece. So we'll go ahead and post this afterwards too. Sure. Okay. That'd be great. So uh, as Eric said, we're looking to create a little assignment uh, using video and there's two options that you have. Uh, you can either video the person doing the job, the person doing the task, or you can videotape what's being processed during the task, right? So uh, you have to decide that. That's part of the assignment, I believe, Eric, right? That's part of the, what's mm -hmm. the question that's been posed. So using Eric's example about laundry, you could either videotape Eric, Eric through that process, or you could videotape the laundry, okay? And it depends what you're trying to achieve, which will drive which one of those that you record. If you're looking for efficiency improvements or productivity improvements from a person standpoint, you're going to look at the person. If you're going to look at trying to reduce the time it takes to go through a process, then you may look at what, he, what that person is processing. Okay, so you've got two different options. I'm just going to show you one today. And if you, once you see the one, you'll be able to play with both of them and, and get yeah. used to it. Yeah, okay? that's a good point, Rudy. And, and since we're in the measure phase within the DMAIC process, you know, what Rudian's describing, it kind of depends on what you're trying to measure. So if you're trying to measure the total time through the process, you know, maybe that's the um, uh, approach you use. Or if you're looking at something like the labor content or the amount of work that's present, you might want to, um, you know, use that sort of scheme. But Rudian will show you the two different approaches. Okay. Okay. So with the email that I sent you, you're going to get um, the link and you're going to get your login. Your login is going to be a CalPol email and the password I've given you on the, on the email also. Once you log in, it'll ask you to set up security questions and you have to accept the agreement and then you'll, you'll get in. So I've already done that for my login. And once you log in, this is what you see, okay? So this is a cloud-based application. And uh, what's going to happen is you're going to upload a video to this and then you're going to analyze it. So remember, you're going to be videoing exactly what Eric said. What are the two scenarios? Okay. Depending on what you want to improve. So what you would do is you would come over here to step one and you basically add a file. So I'm going to look for a file in my archives here. I happen to have a whole bunch of videos around the place so I can, um, I'll just pull one up so you can see how we do this. So I'm going to pull up a video and I'm just going to upload it. So I'm going to select one that's really small. I'm going to do this pit stop one right here. I'm going to hit open and now it's going to pop up in this box. Then I hit upload all and off it goes and gets uploaded. Okay. So while it's uploading, I'm going to put test video class right here. The title of the video, the date and the time are automatic. I'm in California, Orange County. Here's my name initials okay once it's uploaded you get the little check mark there then i can hit submit and now it's going to jump over to this side and when you first open your account it'll be empty of course there won't be videos in there i've got a ton of videos in here because i do a lot of work and a lot of testing okay so your videos will end up over here if you've made a mistake on the name of the video you can always edit them over here with the edit um, button so let this thing uh, upload of course, the upload time depends on the size of your video. So Garrick said, keep it to five minutes or, or less. That'll help with the process. So then what happens is, once, you, once that's uploaded, this is just being converted. I'm going to use a different video for this exercise. So I can speed things up. I'm going to hit this pizza latest video. It's one I uploaded a couple of months ago. I'm going to hit it. So you're going to hit this icon uh, of your video, and it's going to take you to this screen. And as we said earlier, you got there's three different tools that this software actually uses, but we're not going to use setup reduction. We're going to use either process flow analysis, where you're looking at the process itself and what's moving through the process, or you're going to look at labor analysis, which is the person. Okay. So you have to decide which one. Now, in this case, I'm going to do person. So I just click on that categories change over here. I'm going to put project name in for this. I'm going to call it pizza test C. I'm going to call the product pepperoni pizza. It's kind of a manufacturing. I can use any of these drop downs. It's pretty intuitive. Now, Eric, you did, we did talk about this. This is an important part, this keyword. So in order for us to keep this class together, it's important that everybody uses the same keyword. So if you want to put that in the chat, chat, Eric, right now, people can make a note of it. 
You know, I would if I remembered it, um, Brittian. So, so for those of you that are doing this, I'm going to go ahead and look that up. Um, it's okay. On, it's on the assignment on Canvas. And so we'll tell you what that keyword is. Okay. And the, and the reason for the keyword is we have, we have over probably 150 people in this, using this application. So in order to keep this class together, if every, everybody puts the same keyword in, then I'll show you how easy that is to search for it. So I'm just going to put pizza in for now. Okay. Now I'm also going to say this is operator number one. I need to select an operator as well. And I've got labor analysis. I could have done process analysis, but I'm doing labor. So you just fill this side in like this. With respect to your cat, with your categories, these are all the categories that you can use. Yours will just have the default categories. So you can just hit select all and you'll be able to do it like this. Um, I'm going to actually uh, remove some categories because I was using these for something else. But you won't have these. So I've got the right category set up like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this done button down here and it's going to take me to the analysis screen. So I set it up and now I'm into my um, analysis part of the part of the software. All right. So what does this do? Well, I'm going to play the video and what this does is let's, let's mute it. Okay. This just shows you the video that I recorded. This happens to be a person in a pizza store making a pizza. Okay. Here's the person off they go. They're doing, they're, they're making a pizza in a pizza store. Obviously your project will be whatever you decide it to be. Okay. A couple of things I want to emphasize and I don't make this too complicated. These buttons here are pretty intuitive. I can pause, I can play. I can also pause and play from here. All right. That's pretty intuitive. Uh, this button here um, puts it back to normal speed. So I can also speed this up if I want to like this. And these are all moused over. So you don't have to remember these things, but I can, speed it up if I want to, and I can get it back to regular speed right here. Okay. And I can pause it here. Now, the idea is here that you play the video and you categorize the steps that you're observing. Okay. So right at the beginning of this video, video, I'm going to use what this button below here. This is a very powerful button for you to use during the analysis. This is the reset button. And this button will take you back to wherever you left off. So in my case, I haven't started the video. So it takes me back to the beginning, okay? But once you started your analysis, it will actually take you back to where you left off, which can be pretty useful if you've got a long video to find out where you're at. So here's how you do this. You hit the play button like this. And when you're ready for your analysis to start, you're gonna hit the start button, watch. As Soon as I see him walking, boom, I hit start. And, and my analysis is now started from that point. Now I'm going to watch each step that this person does. And at the end of a step like that, I'm going to pause it and I'm now going to categorize what this person did. So I've got a bunch of categories here. These are the standard ones that we use in industry. Okay. You can mouse over them and see which ones you want. Now I happen to know it's this one because we're short of time. So I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I, I know this is walking. So I hit the walk button and he walked, walked to, fridge. That's what he did. And I'm going to hit the save button. And now that particular clip has now been saved down here. Here it is. Walk to fridge. And I can play that back now if I want to. It's also given me some other data about that. And I could also change the time or I could change the category if I really wanted to in this box. So the idea is here that I'm going to go through my video and I'm going to break it into pieces. So like, oh, so he went there and he pulled pick the tray from the shelf. Okay. I happen to know because I've done this a billion times <laughs> that this is picking parts, picking a part. Okay. So I'm picking, I hit P and I say, grab dough, grab dough from shelf. Okay. And then I hit save. And then now I'm going to play it again. Now watch what I do this time. I'm going to play the video. This time when I get good with this thing and I get used to it, I don't have to pause every time. I can just hit the button. If I know what it is, boom, I can hit that and it saves a click, right? So this is carry dough back to bench. Okay. So that's what you're going to do throughout the video. You're going to break it into your little, little pieces like this. 
You're going to get a graph down here telling you what the different categories are. Here's the time, 21 seconds. And I've got my three clips. I can play them back at any time if I want to. Okay? So I'm going to break it all up into those clips. Once I've done that, for my whole video, it's going to take me a little bit longer, obviously, to do that. Now it's time for me to make improvements. So I'm going to hit this analysis button. And now I'm in the analysis phase. Now I've got some decisions to make here. Here are my steps. I've only got three because I only did three for the demo. I've got a few options here. Now I can eliminate that step if I, don't, if I think it's waste. I can reduce the, the length of time of that step if I think that's, if I can make an improvement to do that. Or I can make the clip what's called a favorite clip so it lands on my dashboard so I can look at it or share it with people if I want to. So let me give you an example. Here we see him walk into the fridge, okay? He's walking to the fridge. If I wanted to make an improvement to that step, what kinds of things could I do? Well, maybe I can move his bench closer to the fridge or move the fridge closer to the bench to eliminate the walk time, okay? So I can either eliminate it or I can reduce it. So in this case, let's say we're going to reduce it. So I click the F button. It's 10 seconds of walk time. If I say move bench next to fridge and say, you know what? I think I can make that now two seconds. Okay, I'm going to make it two seconds. I put the action in there. I could put my name and, and date if I wanted to for an action item, or I can just hit save. Boom, there I go. Now that's changed to two. Okay, I could eliminate by hitting this X button and it would remove it altogether, right? Now, if I look down here, now I've got a current state of 21, and my future state is now changed to 13, making it a 38% improvement. Now, obviously, I've only done three clips, okay? But you would do it for the whole video, and then you would decide, do I need, can I eliminate this step, or can I reduce this step? And that's what these buttons are. And if you mouse over again, it'll tell you, eliminate or edit the future time. I can also make it a favorite clip if I want to. I can do that, mark it as a favorite, and I'll show you how that works later. So I, I break all the clips, into, into, into break the video into clips in the, in the first screen. Now I go to this next screen, the analysis screen. I gotta hit these buttons in the middle here to move me forward, so I hit analysis. Here I am, I make some decisions, I type them in. Once I'm done, I'm then gonna hit this summary button, and it takes me to the final screen, which is my summary. And here's my, the work that I did. Here's a pie chart before and after. Here's the improvements that I did. 38%, obviously only three clips. And down below here, down below, there's three steps that I worked on. And again, I can edit these if I want to. Um, I can even change the order of these if I want to, okay? So the idea is with this now on this screen is that your new process, you can now see what your new process could look like and you can edit and change the order of steps. You can add steps and you can see what your future state looks like by hitting this button here. So this is my current state information. If I hit show future, it shows you my future state information. So all the current state data has been removed. All right. The final thing to do is export this to Excel, and I think Eric, you were requesting that uh, everybody export the current, which is this, mm -hmm. the current one, hit export, and it'll send it to Excel. And then also your future, okay, hit that, and export that to Excel. And then the students, you can then hand in those Excel sheets as an output. Is that right, Eric? What yeah. you wanted to do with that? Okay. Yeah. So, so really, we, we've only got like five minutes left. Let me, let me step in here for the students. So yeah. Yeah. We've done it, you know, Ridian knows this stuff really well, and I've um, worked on this software. I, I think it's pretty intuitive, but it's going to take you a little while to get used to the features and, and the functionality on this thing. And I, I encourage you to, to try it out. Um, so we're really only asking you to do uh, for this assignment two minimum categories. So upload a video do two minimum categorizations. You don't even have to do the future state or I really don't want you to do the future state at this point. And then, um, you know, your assignment is completed. 
So you don't have to download in the assignment um, to hand anything in. That's for your edification. It's nice to learn how to do that. Um, we are going to go ahead and go into Lean Edits as super users. Myself and all my TAs can view all the videos, and we're just going to view and make sure that that stuff is there. Yeah, and that's right here, super user like this. And then everybody's videos is going to show up here. Right. So we'll be able to see uh, everything you've done. Okay. So with that, Rian, maybe you could just switch to questions now. What are uh, sure. what are some concerns or or um, thing questions that people have? So any students, go ahead and type a question in the chat, and then we'll call on you. So question for Rian. What do you what do you think? How many companies use the program? So Nicholas wants to know. Oh yeah, we've got, um, well, we've got, uh, I would say, I think it's about eight or 10 different companies now. We've got a, uh, a Johnson & Johnson use this product globally. Uh, they use this, this product, they have 450 users. We have um, a startup company in Colorado using it. We have Olympus Corporation using it. We have a company called Edwards Life Sciences in California. So there's a lot of different companies using this, and we have a couple of different versions of it. Uh, but yeah, so so a number of different places. And actually, if you're interested, it's on the website, right? The, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, on the website. Yeah. Hey, Noah, you want to go ahead and ask your question? Yeah, yeah. So I had a little bit of trouble um, uploading my video. I just took the video on my iPhone, and then I tried just airdropping it to my laptop and just um, I guess selecting the file, I forget what the exact wording was, but it, I think it was like click on your file and then just like upload it in that first step or whatever that you showed at the beginning. And it yeah. wasn't really working out. I was just wondering if there's anything I was missing. Yeah, well, I think what you got a couple of things on this is you got to add file here, right, to select yeah. it. Then you got to hit upload all for it to upload. So did you see the, did you see the bar filling up here? Yeah, I did have a red bar filling up there. And then, so after that, you have to click upload all after you do that. No, you wait, you wait for it to come in. So in this case, let me do it again real quick. So you do it like I just did it earlier. Okay, you pick this video, so I'll do this one. Hit open. Okay, now it's gonna pop in there. And now to upload it, I'm gonna hit this. And then this bar is gonna come up. Then you get the check mark. And then you can type, then you have to type in the information here. Okay, type in the information. So let's say test, test B, make sure you test, type this in, location, initials, and then that button will turn dark blue and then you'll be able to submit it like that. Perfect, okay, that makes a lot of sense, right. thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, um, Brenna, you wanna ask your question? Yeah, so I was just curious for the test um, that you just uploaded. It was from the person, you were analyzing the person. Uh, yeah. If you were to analyze the process, would it be as if like the first person, like I was filming from what I was doing? Is that Okay, so yeah, so I think your question is, what do you point the camera at, right? If you're doing the process. Yes. Obviously, if, if it's the person, you can either use a, you know, uh, your, your, your cell phone or you can get somebody else videoing you or you video somebody else. But if it's the process then you need to follow what's being processed. So in Eric's case, it's the laundry, the actual, the actual laundry from the floor yeah. into the laundry basket, into the washing area. So it's what's being processed is what you want to video if you're looking to look at the process. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good question, Brennan. Any other questions for Ridian? Okay, so I'm going to say, Ridian, thank you very much. We're, it looks like we're off and running. We got uh, the movie, The Goal, is something that we're going oh. to do. Oh, sure. that's fun. Fun. Yeah, fun stuff.